Matt Day Hype. I'm Gaia Cotton, obviously, with me, Thomas Lawrence. Uh, what's up? Hello, Gaia. I'm doing really good, thank you very much. I'm always delighted when we get to work together for our international fan base because, as you quite rightly said, this is Match Day Hype. We're building up to a massive match and there is a lot of hype as we go into this huge game, Inter versus Port. I know we've got so many guests as well on the show today, so we're going to be uh, don't talking... Don't spoil too much. I don't know, spoil I know, much. I know. But that, that's <laughs> one of my biggest uh, uh, weaknesses. I always spoil things. I know. Spoiler alert, we have lots of guests on the way. I apologise, Guy, but you're quite right. But, and one of them shortly will be joining us. He's a former Inter goalkeeper, so he knows all about these big occasions. We're going to chat to him about this match together. But also we're going to have some fun as well. I know we have... Uh, can I spoil it or not? No, no, okay. you can't. We're gonna have some fun. You can. You can. We're gonna have some fun. I'll leave it as that. Join us, and you will find everything. Uh, all Absolutely. our guests, uh, uh, for sure. We will talk about uh, the game of tomorrow or round of 16 for slag uh, between uh, Inter and Porto in San Siro. First of all, we have to talk about. Uh, everything about our players, about the situation. Yep. And as you said, someone will help us. Uh, do you think that he's uh, almost ready? He is almost with us. I know I spoke to him earlier today and he said he's going to you be joining us. You know that the but... hype uh, here is... <laughs> well, that, that's what it's called, match day hype, as we build up to it. Uh, in the meantime, if we want go, we can also uh, start seeing a few goals as well, how Inter got to this stage uh, of the competition, as the Italians would say, with their famous uh, Camino, uh, their journey to the round of 16. Yeah, uh, um, do, you, do you miss the UEFA Champions League? It's like, it's been a, a it's, long time. It's been a long, <laughs> long time. It, it, it's not really November. long, but I feel like, uh, whew, I couldn't wait for it. <laughs> uh, absolutely, absolutely, completely agree. Could not wait either to get going again, because as I said, with Inter's run to this round of 16, they did so well to get out of what I'd probably call the, the group of death. And together, maybe we can also see some of the goals as well together, how Inter started off uh, a very tricky match against Bayern Munich and then Victor Pilz, and then as I always say, the turning point against Barcelona, and then obviously Barcelona at San Siro, and then Barcelona away, and then Victoria, yeah. and then Bayern. So a real tough group to get to stage, yes, which we really deserve. Yes, this is what deserve. I was thinking. Uh, the group was really tough, and uh, who could bet? I, I, I could, yes, because I, I don't know, but I believe, you, you believe know, in, in, these in, boys. in our guys, I, I knew that it was tough, but uh, this is the Champions League, and we don't have to forget even the strength of our team, and I wanted to ask you... Go for it. Any, anything what, you want to ask, I'm what, right here. What is uh, your best, uh, your favourite goal about our group? Okay, that's a great question. That's a because great I question. Because I one. That's a great question. What well, do you want to answer, uh, ladies but, first? But, 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 come on, I want okay. to know. I want to know. <laughs> My favourite goal in the Champions League so far this season has to be Hakan Chanalolu okay, um, at okay, San Siro. Okay, you copy me. You copy me. I, know. I I'm love a copy that cat. goal too. I'm a copycat. I'm a copycat. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, as I said, hopefully we can actually show you some of those goals as well for Inter's uh, run in the Champions League, which, as I said, starting uh, all the way back uh, in, in September and took us all the way through to that goal, which I absolutely love from Hakan Chanalolu. I don't know about yourself, guys. So it's your favourite goal as well. Oh, this is my favourite goal. It was so important. And against an opponent like Barca, mm -hmm. oh, my God. In, uh, even when we went there, for me, the, uh, the, the atmosphere, atmosphere. In, uh, in Barca was amazing, uh, amazing. in uh, Munich too. Uh, it's something that you have to live because it's different. And for me, that I'm new in this type of world, mm. Everything is like, uh, you know, when uh, you eat something the first time, <laughs> when you try it, it can do the first time. That, that's the, the, a new the, the taste great every thing. Time. Yeah, that's the great thing I'd say uh, about, the, about the Champions League. Uh, and a great thing about the Champions League and also about this show is, as I said at the very start, the top of the programme, we also have lots of special guests. Oh, we're ready. I think we're ready for our we're first guest. We're ready for guest. the first uh, surprise. I gave you a few clues earlier. He's a former Inter goalkeeper. He speaks okay. impeccable English. It is the one and only Tommaso Berni. Should we take a seat as well oh, and be yeah, more relaxed? Yes, yes. This is we, our, uh, our home, so let's go. Let's <laughs> take a seat. Let's take a seat together. Tommaso, are you there? Can you hear us? Are you uh, joined with us to chat on Match Day Hype? We're delighted to have you on the show. Tommaso? Hi, Tommaso. Hi, everyone. Oh, oh there really? he is. Oh. <laughs> what a guy. Uh, Ciao, Tommaso. What a pleasure. I am with the Tommaso and Thomas. Uh, I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two it's Tommies. To remember. <laughs> <laughs> two Tommies together. Two Tommies together. Tommaso. By the way, I'm loving the hat. Uh, uh, no, a little, a little yeah. bit hipster. Whoa, I love the hipster. Yeah, you, you know, it's the only thing I have to change my hair. It's, it's not it's always the same. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the style is. 
sorry for the stylist, but <laughs> for my, you know, we have mm. uh, a massive fans. This is a stylist, Alison Fullin, for sure. She could appreciate the style. I can say that I really <laughs> I love it. it. And you know what, uh, Thomas? Uh, if I remember well, my first live in English yep. would, was with him as a guest. It was so with I think I hope that you bring luck uh, even to our <laughs> to our other guests and to this uh, new TV show. How are you doing? How are you? Are you ready to leave this I'm new match? Yeah, I'm really, I'm really good. I'm really happy to be here today, and uh, thank you very much for coming again. Thank you. And yeah, yeah I'm really excited for to, for the game, and uh, it will be a tough game, so I can't wait to see it. Okay, so absolutely. Uh, I, I think that yeah. Tommaso we, will help us uh, to explain better will. what will happen tomorrow. So maybe we can uh, start to see the lineups and. Yeah. Uh, Tommaso, if you're okay, I wanted to quite as a guy. I'm going to get Gaia's assist and uh, look together at the what we'll call the the possible lineups. How Inter could line up tomorrow. Obviously, again for our viewers, our listeners, this is a possible obviously, lineup. It's obviously. not obviously an official lineup because still everything, one day to go. Everything can change, uh, but uh, we can also listen your opinion and uh, talk about that. This is a uh, Inter and. Uh, Chalanoglu will be the playmaker tomorrow. He is doing a great job in this position. What do you think, Tommaso? Yeah, I think so the, the formation is great. And I think so everyone who can play tomorrow will be the best. So I'm really happy to see uh, Chalanoglu in that position because I really like it when he played there. And uh, unfortunately, he's uh, no Brozo. Uh, so I think so it's, um, it's, it's the same. He's a, he's a great player. He has a great vision. He scored a lot of goals and make a lot of assists. So I hope tomorrow will be the same. <laughs> I, I, absolutely. I, I completely agree. At the moment, I say we've put Chala there, but obviously maybe Brozo could start in that role and Chala could play a little bit wide. As I said, it's all a possible lineup. And of course, the. Tomás, as you know, having played the top level for, for, for many years, coaches right until the last minute will keep their cards close to their chest because they'll be using today and tomorrow to, to see how the players are and we'll find out only uh, tomorrow. That's how we put them for the time being. Um, we're talking we're talking about Chan Logan and Brozovic. There's also maybe in attack as well. Um, yep. There's talk about potentially Lukaku as well. If we can go back and look at those probable lineups. I'll just ask Marco yeah. to put them back up. Thank you very much, Marco, in our control room. At the moment, we've put Lautaro and Dzeko, but we saw Tomás also Lukaku is on his way back to his very best. He scored a great goal from the penalty spot over the weekend. So there's also a possibility of seeing Lukaku from the first minute tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, what you said is correct. I think the bench of Inter is quite busy of big players. So I think if he doesn't play Chanonogo, Chanonogo plays, there will be a friend, Ambroso or Lukaku for Zeko for Lataro. You know, it's, I think it's the same. So I'm really happy to see Lukaku has come back quite quite strong, like uh, like we know. So he need a little bit more games. And who, who knows, maybe play some more for the first time, from the first minute. So maybe come back on... Uh, on the, on the second time, and uh, I'm I'm, for sh I'm sure that everyone who's play have the best like impact to the game. So absolutely, I can't wait. Absolutely, I, I know, guys. Also, a couple uh, of questions for you, Thomas. But I wanted to just come in one yeah. last thing, and then I'll pass the ball back <laughs> to Guy because Thomas, you obviously you were part of the Inter squad in in Romelu Lukaku's first season in 2019-20. Yes. So you saw him up close and personal. You know what Lukaku can do, as well as Lautaro, of course. Not, but so you've seen them up close. In training, so who better than Tommaso Berni to you know tell us what it's like to train with them and play alongside them? No, I think the Inter have like three of the best strikers that they will have in Italy, yeah. and uh, Lautaro is you now he's come back for, with the World Cup. So who who's the, who we have our best player in our team? And uh, yeah, I played with Lukaku the first year, and it was really, really, really a beast. I can say that he's <laughs> yeah, a beast. So I can't wait to see him again, just running. Through the players and over the players without no, like, without without any hesitation. So I'm I'm really happy to see him his comeback. And even Zeko, I never play uh, with him, but I play against him a lot of times, and I always love him. And uh, and we see you now this year as the last year. I think he's he's a really great player. And uh, yeah, I'm, I want to say nothing for tomorrow, but 
where we are, I'm sure that we are in a good hands. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. uh, Jacob, if I remember well, has been involved in uh, four goals uh, yeah. in his uh, six appearances uh, of this uh, UEFA Champions League. He already show that the age is uh, only a number. Doesn't we mean already a thing. talk about <laughs> that a lot of times. I think another uh, interesting uh, uh, focus uh, can, can be Bastoni and Di Marco because uh, Bastoni is uh, the best assist man in the UEFA Champions League for Inter uh, so far. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think that's a really good point, uh, Guy. To A, it builds upon what Tomás was saying about Jekyll being an exceptional yeah. player. The fact that if he's not scoring, he's helping set up Every goals. Every time. Uh, and, as you mentioned, you just mentioned Bastoni there, this is his assist for Nicola Barella against Barcelona as we're seeing the goals. I was there! And you were there uh... at the new Camp for us, Guy, to report on that match as we're seeing uh, Tommaso together, all these goals as Inter got through uh, to the group stage in, in, in what can only be described, Tommaso and Guy, a, a group of death, you know, as the Italians would say, Gironi di Ferro, or the English would say, oh, yeah. uh, a group of death. It really was Tommaso. And so Inter have really deserved it, thanks to the likes of Bastoni, of Dzeko, to, to, to got to the stage of the competition. Yeah, for, for sure, for sure. We have one of the, the worst like, <laughs> group in, in, in the Champions, but we, we, we play very, very well and we deserve to be here for, for the game tomorrow. And of sure, we have all the chance to, to go through. So we have to be like a really, really patient and uh, don't, how we say in English, um, in, I, I know Porto because I played there for, for one year, so yeah. it's quite a strong team. They play very well. And they have a coach, you know, a really, you know, really good the, the Italian league. So he can give a help for the team. So it would be really, really tough. But I'm for sh I'm sure that Inter have all the chance to, to pass it in. Through. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Thomas, uh, I, I was saying also Di Marco because Di Marco is the player of Inter who created more scoring chances, yeah. uh, like seven, if I remember well. Yep. And, Correct. Uh, yeah. I mean, he is doing a great season. Every time that he's on the pitch, uh, it's like, okay, oh, I can. I can uh, breathe. You, can, you, you, can know, breathe. you know what I mean? Be, absolutely. <laughs> Gaia, I have to say, uh, Tommaso, Gaia is making us look foolish. She's done her homework. She's absolutely done her homework with the numbers, has Gaia. Well, it's spot on. And another one, and Dimarco is another one we've got to talk about, Tommaso, because again, you were part of that squad when he was here in 2019 20. I know then he went out on loan again, but you know Dimarco, you know his qualities. In those clips we saw, we saw his assist, one of his many assists yeah. this season um, in, the, in the Champions League, and also many in Serie A this term as well. So you know what he can do. And again, Marco Secchi, brilliant in the control room to pick up on, on the man we're chatting about, Tommaso Di Marco, who's, who's having an exceptional season. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I think I know him before he came in, in, uh, right. in the first yeah. team. He just came from the youth team in, in training with us. And we see already they have a, a, a fantastic left foot. So, um, well, I can say this season, I think, is one of the best seasons so far he's done. He's done like a great, great job. He have uh, score goals, he make a lot of assists, and even he worked really hard for the team. So, what I can say, well done, keeping going like this because it, it, it's amazing. And what we said before, but Bastoni even he start playing very, very well. And he have a great vision from the back. So I'm, I'm for sure that the, the left line, or, or, we, we are, we are really strong and. Um, Maybe we, something can come from there. That, that, that's what we're, we're all hoping for. Tommaso, you also mentioned about your experience in Portugal, yeah. but with, with Braga, wasn't it, if I'm not mistaken? Um, going back to your, your, your experiences uh, uh, in Portugal, and that's also given me uh, another assist uh, together with Guy, so we can actually now also start maybe chatting a little bit about Porto oh, and how they yeah. could it's, line up uh, tomorrow time, for the match. Yeah, It's time to talk about our opponent, so let's see the possible, yeah. the possible line-up. Uh, we uh, already listened to the press conference uh, uh, this morning yeah. of uh, our coach. Uh, we have to be ready. This is a team that uh, knows how to play together. They, oh, know, yeah. it, they know each other uh, for a long time. They know how to get through this difficult uh, uh, matches yes. they have uh, a defense with a great experience uh, and they know how to change uh, during the game and we have to be able to adapt our absolutely. system to them Abs absolutely I think you said everything right there a sub which has a lot of experience 
They're a side that knows what it takes, and I'll get Tomazo involved again soon, having played some football much more than me in the Portuguese Championship. They're a side that I think we were talking about off-air together, guy that's also done really well against Italian teams, Juventus, oh, yeah. uh, Milan. So they've got experience, and as Tomazo said, they've got a coach, Sergio Contessao, who knows the Italian league, having played in they, Italy. They, uh, they yep. lost only one time yep. in the last period in the European competition, in Says competition it all. with yep. uh, the Italian teams, only one time. So I think that in Italy, the harder clubs uh, yes. <laughs> have not a good memory, obviously. They, they don't, they don't. They, don't, they, have, they have nightmares, you could say. Portuguese, Porto nightmares, Tomás. As we can maybe look together at how Porto could line yeah. up and how Conceição might set up his team tomorrow. Now, we think it could be a 4 4 2 formation, but which could also become a 4 3 3. They're quite a, a mobile uh, unit, Tomás, a fluid yes. unit. And as, as we put them here for 4 4 2 for now, uh, who stands out? Is it obvious to say Taremi? Is it too obvious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fine. It's, it's... You know, it's, you, you said right, it's, it's really tough team, it's really complex, it's really, they know each other, they are young, they are experienced, they, they have everything. So, then, and after when you pass the group in Champions League, I think so the reason is uh, an easy team, an easy game. So, um, we have maximum maxim respect for Porto and... Uh, of sure, we in Champions you don't have to make mistakes, so we have to be really, really concentrated and think to ourselves to do our best. And I think so we got the chance. But Porto is a really good team, and how you said, you know, you don't lose a game, you just lose a one game and have a straight win in the league and the Champions. So it's it will be tough. It will be a great game. So we are happy to to see this beautiful game tomorrow. Oh, we're, we're absolutely delighted. Guy and I cannot wait. Guy is going to be at San Siro for us tomorrow, aren't you, for the for the big match? Oh, yeah. So you have a chance to see up close and personal Ooh. Inter and Porto. She's getting nervous oh, already. Oh, oh, oh guys, I, I, I'm listening to you and oh, I'm, I'm getting excited. OK, OK, OK. Calm, calm. I have to be professional, but uh, I mean, they arrive in with, the, with the 10 victories uh, yep. in a row. So for yeah. sure, they will arrive here to do the best. Uh, it's a team with experience, we already um, told this. Uh, but they are also growing, like their goalkeeper is a goalkeeper that is growing more and more. What do yes, you think absolutely. About? Let's, uh, that's a good note. Should we look at some of the results of both Inter and Porto in the Champions League, oh, how yes. we got to this stage? Tommaso, you still okay to stick with us for a, a little bit longer? Because I know yeah, soon yeah. you have to. For sure, for sure. Good, I know soon you have to dash off and pick, pick up your, your kids, but we just want to look together. This is, as we mentioned earlier, Inter's run to the round of 16. Some incredible sides there buying Barca and Victor Pilton, obviously champions. Uh, in the Czech Republic, so no easy feat. Uh, that's how Inter got to this stage, and, and we were chatting earlier, F for Gara and myself, we love that Inter-Barcelona game because that was perhaps one of the turning points. I don't know what you think as well about Inter's group stage performances. No, it's, it's, it, it's been amazing. I think against Barcelona we play a fantastic, yeah. fantastic game. So, yeah, it, was, it would be a pleasure for, for watching on TV. <laughs> to see all my friends scoring and make like a, a really, really... Uh, game and stay on the history, so it would be it, it been it been amazing. It been amazing that we win not win because I think so we have the chance to to take the three points. So Tom, <laughs> I, I am listening to you. We're just chuckling away because we're looking at the camera and you seem to be getting smaller and smaller. I don't know why. Uh, I, I think it's my phone. The, down, oh, I, I, no, not true. I, not true. It's like the emotion that you feel like me. It's like, oh, and, and also, tomorrow is close, so we are like, oh. You're very nervous. You're nervous. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and also, oh. Tommaso, you're, you're a very big guy, so I'd never say that to you if you were here in the studio, because I know you're, you're a big guy. <laughs> I'd, ne I'd never, I'd never take, uh, take the mick out of you. I'd always be very respectful, because you're a big lad, a big unit. No, joking aside, oh, to get back to being serious. That, that's into, and you're right. A really good runners, also, which gives a lot of confidence confidence going into the match against Porto. As Gaia said earlier, um, they come into this after winning 10 games in all competitions, but this is their Champions League run. Yep. And it's really interesting, Gaia and Tommaso, because they had a really difficult start, losing the first yeah. two, but then they had that turning point as well, just like Inter, really. And they got some incredible results coming out of a group with Bayer Leverkusen, who Inter faced in actually yes. the season you were, you faced them in the Europa League final, um, the run for the Europa League final, Tom Mazo, in 1920, and Atletico Madrid yes. coached by Diego Simeone, who's one of the top coaches yep. in the world. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so you, you said right. They, they start 
not really well, but after I think so they find the right, like, uh, I don't know, maybe information or maybe players, and maybe they they be like more confident and they start, they make some really, really great win because uh, win away like 3 0 against Bayern Leverkusen is never easy. <laughs> and yes. even the winner against Atletico, that we know how tough is Atletico with Simeone, yeah. coach. So I think what we said, we. We, we said they, they are really good. They are a good team. They are, have a good player, and uh, it will be an open, open game. So we have to be really strong. Absolutely. Obviously, we need uh, our fans uh, tomorrow at the stadium, guys. Yes. You know what to do. <laughs> and and, and on, on that note, Tomasa, do, do you have a, a, a message? Uh, uh, do you see yourself as you know? Because you are, of course, you were a dressing room figure at Inter during your time here. Can, can I ask for you to get a bit, a bit like a rallying cry for our Inter supporters uh, ahead of tomorrow's match? Well, I, I think so. I, they don't need my my <laughs> advice. They they know how to do better than me, and they are always amazing. We see every game. We see. I, I think that on TV when I saw the. The, the the how you say the choreography the snake yeah, yeah. On, with, the, with the with the in the derby is it been amazing they shocked me so I know there will be like eighty thousand people screaming for for Inter and I think that is enough. <laughs> they know better than me ab how ab to do absolutely, it. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Listen, Tommaso, it's been an absolute pleasure. I thank you so much for your Thank time you. and joining us. And, and I've, I've been having a quick look at the comments uh, and obviously they're delighted to have you and, and see you again because you, you're still in the hearts and minds of all the, the interfaith because you're such an addressing room figure during your time here. And of course, a lot of great comments for impeccable English and even myself as a, as a native English, I say bravissima, well done uh, as always. <laughs> wow, uh, thank, you, thank you to you, thank you to invite me because it's, uh, it's always a big pleasure for me to spoke about Inter, my, my ex, uh, uh, players that we played together and then we in, Sure. My years was like the year of changing. We changed, you know, the the the, the, the property, and it will be like uh, we we built the base for for Inter now. So I'm I'm happy to to pass there my six years and have a, still have a lot of friends. And uh, thank you very much. Thank Anytime you. you you want, I'm here. I'm really thank happy you. to talk about Inter. <laughs> Thanks man. for joining us. Top thank man. you. Thank you so much to thank Tommaso you, guys. Berni, number one in, in every sense because he was a goalkeeper as well. So number one, thank you, Tommaso. Yes. What a <laughs> British tomorrow. humor. British humor. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Ciao, Tommaso. <laughs> exactly. See you tomorrow. <laughs> that's my. That's always my British humor guy. A guy, by the way, not a, not a big fan so, of my British sorry, humor. Sorry. This guy, but uh, thank you to Tommaso. It was Tomazzo. so funny. Uh, hi, Tommaso. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Ciao, you ciao, soon. ciao. Super, Bye. super, super, super. <laughs> to the one and only Tommaso Berni. Oh, thanks very oh. much. British humour. Um, bye bye, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. it's the end of the friendship. No, um, I don't. It's never, never, um, never, never. I mean, we talk about uh, the, the possible lineup. Yes. Uh, we didn't really talk about uh, the coach because he's someone no. that uh, we know really well. Yeah. He played. In Inter yes. for a couple of years. That's correct. And I heard uh, a quick interview mm -hmm. in the um, days before, and he said, "Okay, it's always it's always a pleasure to meet uh, our friends, but uh, doesn't matter. I'm focused on the match, uh, and uh, I think that uh, he has the same motivation he had as a player." As a coach, quite rightly, he said, "I'm never happy. If I, obviously, obviously, if I lose, I'm not happy. But even when I'm happy, even when sorry, even when when I win, I'm not happy too. This is the the way to improve." Every time we see him now, uh, really young, really young, but uh, he has the same energy on the bench. So, and he already, we know that he knows really well our coach Inzaghi. In yes. that year, when uh, Inzaghi scored four goals in Champions League, yep. he already had his, uh, his record as an Italian player. Yep. Correct. He helped him with an assist. Uh, so, it will be interesting also this, um, you know, Friendship that uh, for tomorrow we yeah. will not be a, a really friendship. Friendship you know? that, that, that's put on hold uh, yeah. tomorrow for 90 minutes, quite rightly. No, but you, you're spot on what you're saying about Sergio Concesao, uh, their guy, because uh, as a player, that winning mentality with uh, Simon Inzaghi, they played together at Lazio, they won the Scudetto together. There was, the, as you mentioned, he 
provided one of the assists in that match between Latour and Marseille, and Marsiglia, Marsiglia, when he scored four goals, which is a record for an Italian striker. Here we're looking at his two years at Inter, 2001 to 2003, and he scored a, you know, an absolute belter in this match, Sergio Contessao. So, as you said, there are a lot of uh, connections between uh, Sergio Contessao and, and, Inter and Simon Inzaghi tomorrow, yes. which is going to be interesting. Add extra spice uh, for the match tomorrow. Yes, and... Uh... Obviously, we, we have to say that he gave a lot of energy to, to his team. He's actually the Porto coach who won more games, yes. 20, I think, in, uh, with the Champions League. So yes, and if you think of, of the great <laughs> coaches that Porto had down through the yeah. years, that's a very good record. And that's a sign, that, as Simone Inzaghi said in the press conference today, both very young, him and Concesao, two young coaches looking to make their mark. And he has a very uh, bright future. Yes, we'll future be a duel even on yeah. the bench. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Guy, just to wrap up this first block and this yes. first part of the show, because we've chatted with Tomás Berni, Berni, I was going to say Berti there, a bit of a Freudian, because Bertie is always on always our heart. Hi, Bertie. A Freudian slip. <laughs> we Freudian will meet you tomorrow for sure. For sure, we, we will we, be We've there. looked at the possible answer with Tommaso Berni. We've uh, looked at how the two teams have got to stage competition. We've chatted about our opponents. But just to wrap things up, I know you love numbers and you love stats. Don't you, Gaia Cotto? I know, I know. Uh, now it's time yes. to watch a UEFA clip about uh, the stats of Inter and our opponent in our group of Champions League. Let's watch Let's it. Let's go. Morella has conjured an equaliser out of very little. Plenty in blue and white arriving in support. And Zaidu has squeezed in the header. Hakan Chalanolu lifts the roof off San Siro. The precision of this strike was absolutely exceptional. Fine tip over by Onana, who's having a very busy debut. A third consecutive penalty save in the Champions League for Diogo Costa. Remarkable. Correa. Quite room enough for a shot, but there was for Edin Dzeko. Pepe to Evan Nielsen, and there's Jeremy. The man in red-hot goal-scoring form continues his run. And we're back. We're back, we're back. Uh, I love this clip. Uh, oh, it's wonderful. Okay. I know you love your numbers, your stats, uh, guys, so that was why we had to put that in there as well. I love my to. number, but uh, I have to admit that sometimes it's difficult to remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we put the clip in. I'm as not a, a superwoman, because you refresh. describe me like, she likes number, it's easy. No, I, I never to, said it quite Trust me, like guys, uh, to study <laughs> this number, <laughs> this number gets me crazy. But yes, I love numbers. Good. So we can continue. We can now continue. And you know, well, what we talk about now. Absolutely, of course. Of course. <laughs> I've, I've also done my homework. Not to your level, Guy, because obviously, you know, you are no, a, a step on. above the rest. But Okay, humble, but not too humble. Okay, I want to talk about someone that, obviously, with uh, Tomás Benio mentioned earlier, the one and only Lautaro Martínez, who shortly will be paying a visit here in the studio with us as well, the one and only Lautaro Martínez, because I feel that he could <laughs> and uh, could well be one of the key players tomorrow for all his experience uh, uh, in the Champions League, but also in, uh, in Serie A. Um, the Europa League as well, of course, and, and above all, as Tommaso mentioned earlier, Tommaso Berni mentioned, in the World Cup as well. Coming back yes. from a World Cup winner, that's given that extra confidence. So, of course, I want to do a bit of a focus on Lautaro Martins because, apart from also being massively popular with our fan base all across the world, Obviously. he's really experiencing a, a great moment right now. So, hence the reason, you know, I want to chat together with you. Uh, for example, you mentioned earlier you were away at the new Camp for that match between Barcelona and into that famous 3-3. What an incredible match. He had on that occasion, Gaia, for instance, but not just in that game. It's, it's not, I can, I said he's going to come. There he is, right here. He's joining us in the studio. Thank oh, you, Rachel. Oh, 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 Lauti is here. 
o la lauti o la lauti che tal che tal che eres un un mate basta mi fermo oh that's enough I don't know goals I don't know any more Spanish but thank you very much Latvia Joyce because his his ears were burning we were talking about him and he's coming in the studio right now because we've got a what a great surprise to have lauti here in the studio no lauti is here with us we need him he's closer to you though. Oh, you know that, uh, you know, okay, this is a, a little gossip. Well, I'm jealous. This but... is a little gossip, but, uh, you know, I'm a woman. This is important to him. Oh, no. propose. Uh, no, I know. Oh, he proposed. He proposed, on Instagram. he proposed. We saw the, we watched the video. Okay, but this is another it's story. Enough. It's enough. But this is another story. I'm totally agree, agree with you. Yeah. And, um, he, we know, one of uh, his role models uh, is Milito. Yes. So, I think this is the road. <laughs> this is the correct road to... Oh yeah. Do something great. He's always ready. And you know what I like? Um, obviously, he scores a, a, a lot of goals. Uh, he's doing great. Uh, As you can see here. Yes, this expression. Even when things uh, are going wrong, he yeah. has always this phase. The phase yeah. of someone who never give up. This is something that I, I don't know. I feel this is like a message that uh, he that he live. He lives every time that he plays. Uh, I yeah. don't know. I have this feeling every time. Uh, absolutely. I think. I think. Hence the reason his nickname is Toro, the, the bull, because he has that bullish spirit in every match. Even if, for example, as you said, he might be going through a, a negative period, guy, which happens to all strikers, to all players. But even then, even if he's not scoring, he's still playing with that grit, that determination, that expression, as you can see on, on that level. The, and hence, the reason lauding Lautaro. We have to praise Lautaro for everything that he's doing. You also mentioned. Diego Milito, the one another, one and only uh, Diego Milito, achieved uh, some very special things with the black and blue jersey. And I think, you know, it's not wrong to make some of those comparisons between the two, not just because they're both from Argentina, but for the way that they inspire the team out on the pitch, the way that they can be role models for their teammates. And of course, the obvious comparison is their great goal scoring uh, ability between the two. So I think uh, Lautaro uh, Martinez is going to be a big factor for us tomorrow. Yes, and you said numbers. If yes. you talk about numbers, go for uh, the numbers. I don't want to make a, a mistake because I'm remembering a lot of numbers. But uh, <laughs> he scored one goal each 109 minutes. Uh, what can you say to a player like this? That, that, those are very important figures very impressive stats to uh, get on the score sheet that's just pretty much a goal almost uh, every game pretty much a little bit more so every game was more or less he is finding the back of the net and i think it's interesting guy because when he first came to the club naturally he was still a player had so much potential a bright yes. prospect now in that time he's made incredible progress he's developed he's become more and more complete every season a lot more mature as a player, and again, he won trophies. He's won a lot of trophies a as well, exactly trophies. as we can see him in action in Inter's run now uh, to the round of 16, thanks to the control room to bring this up because he has been a key player. And as you said, also thanks to winning so many trophies, it's given that, that confidence and that winning mentality. For uh, sure, guy. for sure. I think that when you start to win, uh, your confidence uh, is uh, uh, bigger and bigger, and uh, he is already showing what he can do. But I think uh, this is not yet the limit. Uh, I I think that he has a lot, a lot uh, to give to the Inter fans. Yes, without a doubt. I think the, the, the scary thing, Guy, for, for obviously for uh, opposition uh, supporters and, and uh, opposition teams, is that he can get even better. And obviously we're mentioning here uh, Lautaro Martins. This, this is footage, exclusive footage from uh, the team's training session earlier today here. At the Sunning Training Center, Piano Gentile, there is, of course, Luca. We also saw Javier Zanetti, Pupi, Il Capitano, also uh, in the picture a few moments ago. Because, a reminder, obviously, this is match day minus one. The boys are preparing, they're gearing up uh, for tomorrow's uh, big match. Yes, and they me. went through their paces, were put through their paces earlier today in, tra in training here, Gaia. Yes, uh, yes, Thomas. And uh, we talk a lot about Lula, we know, we love it, oh, yeah. but the truth is that this player find the chemistry with uh, all the guys there. It's yes. like uh, he is playing really, really solid. Oh, absolutely. And I think we're talking about how, how much he's developed, how much he's grown, and, and that comes to the fact that, and testament of that is the fact that he's played along so many different strikers since he's joined the club, uh, Lautaro Matis, and that's the mark uh, of a great player. Uh, Guy, I know... Uh, I have a surprise yes, for you now. Uh, this is what, <laughs> exactly, I wanted I to say. You, I, I can see you, you're smiling away. What, what, what do you want to tell I me? I couldn't wait what for you. What do you want to tell okay, me? Okay, okay, okay. Please, Marco. 
I need you here, here, okay, because uh, we need a big introduction. So first of all, we stand up. Okay. And now you will see why, because I need you, sorry. I'm coming, I'm coming. We, we, we are right here, okay. okay. You I'm following a, everything, yeah. yeah? You had a special guest. True. I have a special guest too. Uh -huh. And my special guest is Davide, and he is uh, the best freestyler in the world. The whole world. Uh, I'd like to meet uh, Davide then. Oh, uh, Davide, <laughs> you here? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, ciao. I'm here, I'm here. I ciao. hear you guys. Oh, there. there he is. What's Super. up? Oh, we good. Did hey you guys. like the introduction? I say the best freestyler in the whole the world. So. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. <laughs> top man, top man. First of all, David, it, it's a pleasure to meet you, albeit virtually. Uh, and also, thank you so much for joining us today on Match Day Hype. Uh, um, listen, guy says you're the best freestyler in the world, I, I, I want to believe it, but can you prove it? Can you back it up uh, with some tricks to show us? Or yeah, not? sure, sure, sure. I'm putting as you on the usual, spot, I know. <laughs> as usual, I have here my ball. Yes. Of course, uh, the outfit uh, is not the proper outfit because I was uh, home working. No, but, but it's okay, uh, yeah, it, it's I'm for here, our so... level. But you know, David, why I said that this is a surprise for my colleague? Because we have a ball too. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. We, where is the ball? Here, it's where here, is, it's where here. is, where is, where is? Amazing, oh, here, amazing. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, Marco, sorry if I'm moving too much, sorry. <laughs> This is the ball, yes. and it's not for me because I have heels. It's for you. Yeah, but but, but first, I'd rather <laughs> see the David there, who's who does it for a living. So David, I think you should take the stage, and and show us the real tricks first of all. And I will try and copy you afterwards because we need to see David first. Yes, yeah, so obviously David. It sounds fun. It sounds fun. Okay. So I, I would start uh, with some basic tricks. Basic. Okay. basic. Yes. Very, very basic. Basic. I, I'm pretty sure you guys can do it. Okay. So, I'll show you first the trick while juggling and then okay. step by step. Okay. So, step by step. Me. Juggling, simple juggling. Okay. Oh, mate, you can do that. Come on. Oh, block. wow. Wow. Easy block. Okay. Mate. I believe in you. All right. I, I'm if uh, yes. if we want to try step by step, I, I highly suggest you to do Ball in your hands. Yeah. One bounce and block. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. pretty sure we can do it. Okay. Maybe I'm, I'm, it's better that I stay yeah. in here. <laughs> okay. First, first of all, David, uh, uh, you were brilliant. I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So I'm going to ask it. Just give it a go. And if it's a complete disaster, the I apologize. Ca cameraman. <laughs> okay. You okay. ready? I'm going to try, but. But I haven't got the right shoes on, but I'll try. Okay, so no, I'm going to give it a go. I, I trust you. Okay, I can't tell concentration. No, 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 it was... I can't do it. No, Sorry. No, let, let, let me try, let me try. Let, let's let's, try. Just, let's with try. The, with the heels, okay? With the heels. Let's go, guys. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Okay. Aspetta. No, aspetta. <laughs> no, my God, it's difficult. No. No, no, no. It's better. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I go. C you, you, you said that it was easy. Yeah, it was, but uh, not for I have us. another one easier if you want to try. Uh, Are you ready? Yeah, right. I, ready. I suggest that, David, you take centre stage, show us a few more tricks, and then you put on the show, because I think the fans want to see a real freestyle. They want to see Thomas and Guy make fools of themselves, personally. But you know, mate, the problem is the suits. The, the suits is like... Yeah. Nice. We're going to blame the suits and the shoes. Yes, it's, this is the problem. But we try. <laughs> Let's go. Go, go for it, go for it, okay, my man. Okay, so the other trick is just a way to make the ball up. Okay. So basically, we start with the ball on the floor. Okay, like basically. I'm watching you. Okay. Ball like this. Yeah. Okay. One, and then we jump. Wow. <laughs> I have a problem yeah. even with the one, but... Okay. Go, go ahead and show us some more tricks, Davide. Go, 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 go. Go. Let's go, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so it's something. better that you do it. Oh, wow. Wow, I like it. Whoa. I need a rapper here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting dizzy. Whoa. I'm getting a bit dizzy. Wow. <laughs> There's no way I can do any of this. Whoa. Wow. 
That's the reason for it. Massive, massive round of applause. The Italians say tanta roba, David. Is that right? Tanta roba. That was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Completely right. Tanta roba. Tanta yeah. roba sounds perfect. He didn't break the television too, so no. the mission is. <laughs> if I so try close. that. So close. David, if I try that, first of all, I'll break the cameras. And uh, Marco, our director, will be very angry. And two, I'll probably break my back as well. So. Uh, no, 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 show you my, my, yeah. trick, my favorite trick, okay? Guy is going to come back. Uh, Dai, stay there. Now we surprise you. Show me, show me. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, because I have you, huh? Eh? Yeah, amazing. Eh? Yeah. When is the match tomorrow? Let's do it. Huh? Eh? Come on, haha! -ha. I'm impressed. Big drop. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm this impressed. This is the only thing that I can do, just because I have a big head. Did yeah, I... yeah. After this, I think I, I will lose my work. <laughs> no, no, never, never, never. But would you like to say to all the Inter fans how they can watch your videos, uh, how they can uh, see you on yeah. the social media? Yeah, for sure, guys. Uh, if uh, any one of you is curious about freestyle football, uh, you can check my Instagram, Davide Pisani FS. Uh, still the same name, or you can check that just Davide Pisani on YouTube. And uh, I also have uh, a website. Uh, we, I, I own a, a team, and we perform worldwide. We've been also in Qatar for the last uh, World Cup. <laughs> Not, woo, not, woo. not me, woo. but uh, woo, 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 I, I can woo. live off the team. I, I, I can hear that there's is it, is it a dog in the background. Uh, woo, woo. Uh, so, something, What's sorry? So, I can hear something in the background. Is it your dog woo. barking away? <laughs> maybe maybe the dog's applauding. Yes, maybe the dog's uh, yes, because saying, you, you, saying well you, said, you said uh, uh, we were in Qatar and uh, your dog started barking, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. That's because my dog were, was so exciting, so, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Oh, okay. listen, can I suggest something? Can we, because I, I'm tired just watching, can we sit down yes. to chat with you a bit more? You know uh, that when you ask this... Uh, because, they, Davide, I'm, I, I'm just, just watching you, I'm tired. Maybe I'm showing my age, because uh, I haven't got that flexibility you have. But, uh, David, first of all, I'd say those tricks were impressive. Thank you for giving a shout out to your work and, and a massive congratulations from myself and Guy and all the fans that are watching right now. But let's talk maybe a little bit also. And congratulations also to Thomas that. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We will work on it in the next live. We will show you. We will yeah. arrive here with sure. sneakers and everything. And I, I, I will try my very best in the future, obviously. <laughs> but, but you know, you yeah. know, you don't have uh, the right outfit. Ah, oh, this I, is the. I appreciate. Yes, I appreciate it, guys. The, uh, I, all the excuses I know, I don't have the shoes, but I'm just not good enough. I admit it. Mate. I admit it. I admit it. Mate. I admit it. But, we but uh, David, I just wanted to also ask just before we say goodbye, you know, a bit of your thoughts about tomorrow, where you're going to be watching the match, how excited you are to see Inter in the round of 16 of the Champions yeah. League against Porto. If you can what, hear sorry? us. There we are, David. No, I was just saying uh, just uh, about tomorrow, your thoughts, where are you going to be watching? the game as well. Are you going to be watching it from home, at the bar, or at San Siro? Uh, and you must be excited to see him to play Porto tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, uh, I will check the match. Uh, I think I will be home, so very chilled at my place. And yeah, hopefully next in San Siro, because uh, also I've been in San Siro la the last time was like two, three months ago. Mm -hmm. I was invited in the lounge where I met uh, Gaia too. So I hope uh, to be back soon. And uh, yeah, good luck to Inter, of course. Absolutely. Davide, uh, for us, it's been, well, I'm going to say an interesting experience. An interesting experience because, uh, unfortunately, I made a fool of myself live on YouTube, you were brilliant. Guy was brilliant as well, as you said, with, with that trick with the, with the head as well. Okay. So okay. you no. two, no. brilliant. Me, I've got lots of work. I've got to do some training. <laughs> lots of training to do. Made a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello. And, and trust me, this is this was just a very very small piece uh, of my skills. Yes, but so hopefully I will back in San Siro. And uh, I remember past back in the days, uh, yep. I was also uh, performing. Uh, in the San Siro middle field between um, the first and the second uh, half time of the match. Mm -hmm. 
and it was a beautiful experience uh, uh, showing uh, freestyle football skills in the center of the stadium. So wow. hope to be back in San Siro to check the match, but of course uh, also to perform and then check. I hope so. I love it. And I, guys, trust me, I watch all the videos. So <laughs> <laughs> check Davide Pisani on Instagram and uh, on YouTube everywhere. And uh, it's, it's a really, really good experience. Top it's man. Brilliant. Top man. David, it's brilliant. You're, you're an absolute star. And uh, we will hopefully have you on the show in the future. If you'd, yeah. We'd love to have you back on the show yeah, in the future. I hope so. It's just a, a, the beginning of a, a friendship. I know that. You chair Inter from the beginning, so mm -hmm. high up to see you soon. Yeah, me too, of course. Thank you, David. I'm going to put this ball away now uh, because <laughs> uh, otherwise Guy is going to start doing more tricks and make me look foolish, and we, and we can't have that. <laughs> Davide, grazie di cuore. Thank thanks, you so much uh, for joining us. Thanks for being us. here. Thanks for enjoying. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Ciao, ciao. I love that surprise, oh. guy. I love oh. that surprise. Well, actually, I, I don't know mean, if I, I loved mean, it. I don't I, know if I loved I, it or not, actually. I, I'm, I'm really, I'm feeling tired. <laughs> I'm I've, I've hurt my muscles. Oh, and on my back sorry, as well. Mate. But no, but I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm it sorry, was, mate. it was brilliant fun. It was yeah, brilliant we, fun. We needed these too, you know. To unwind as well, relax, and, and as I say, I'm putting that ball away from you because otherwise I'm going to be making uh, making <laughs> a fool of myself live on YouTube, and we don't want that. We don't want no, that. No, 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 no. Mate, it's time to continue. What do we have in store for the final part of the show? Oh, okay, now, we, you know that Let's we are focused. having fun. I ask if we can talk about what happened on the social media yep. in, the, in the next, uh, in, in the last story, in the last um, week. Yes, I Because think... uh, this is uh, the moment of our social corner. And uh, we, now we have to be serious for a little bit mm. because the first post uh, is a uh, Lukaku post. Mm -hmm. And uh, it dedicates. The, the goal, the last goal yeah. he scored to, to Atsu. Rest That's in right, peace. Yeah. And I don't know if uh, we are able to, to see the, the so post, see, yeah, see the of, post uh, Lukaku, but uh, I think you're right. obviously Rome uh, knew him. Yeah. So he posted some pictures with him. Oh, we have it. It's here. There it's we here go. Also. Wow. Exactly. Absolutely. So, you're right what you're saying. You know, Lukaku paying tribute to Christian Atsu, who, by the way, also played for Porto. Uh, earlier in his career. So I think it's really nice uh, of Lukaku to pay tribute to him, yes. dedicate uh, no, you the know goal why to he him. Kiss, you know, the yeah. sky. It, it was a lovely way. post uh, yes. from uh, Lukaku. We were waiting for some news uh, about him, but uh, at the end, uh, he, he's an angel. He rests in peace. And uh, we pray for him and uh, for Turkey, for all the people involved in this. Uh, uh, tragedy and the next post is uh, with Chala. Yes, you interview him. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, we spoke to him before the, the, the Sam Doria game, and obviously he his thoughts and, and everybody's thoughts really are with people in Turkey and Syria right now. And he wanted to to uh, put a post out as well to obviously send his thoughts and his uh, solidarity with everybody in Turkey. I thought that was another really nice uh, post that we saw on social media this week, guys. So I think you've done really well to to pick out these two posts from Lukaku and Chalanoglu because, of course, it's right to talk about lots of happy and positive things, but let's also remember, you know, um, how close we are to both these parties right now after everything uh, after, after they've, they've been through. Uh, and it's not the only post on social media which you've fished out for us, because I know you enjoy looking on social media. Also, it's a great post uh, from Henrik Mkhitaryan as yes, well, who uh, was yes, on the score yes. sheet <laughs> against Udinese. had a great game. Yes, we didn't talk uh, about him, but there is a reason. There is uh, this post that we want to show you, the mood uh, of the week. <laughs> this is the mood of the week, the uh, mood of a, a, a young player, <laughs> because uh, He's doing great. He's doing brilliantly. How He's doing much absolutely he brilliantly. He is running in this championship, in these competitions, in all the competitions. He's uh, an important player for Inzaghi, and he scored an amazing, uh, an amazing goal. And we see he goes and sends his uh, uh, team spirit that is always important to reach victories. Team spirit is vital, and I think on that subject about spirit being <laughs> determined and what have you, I think we've got to pay tribute now also to the Intermedia House for their latest video hero. Oh wait, I have another up. surprise. You have another for surprise. You before of it, I was laughing. I was laughing mm -hmm. because I have another post. No. And you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I getting too carried it. away. I apologize. No, it's guy. funny. It's <laughs> the video will be funny. 
but uh, it's more funny because uh, I found it thanks to Ajara, our ah, the inter women striker. Inter yes, Ajara and Joy, yeah, yeah. Ajara. Uh, she shared this yeah. video on her Instagram story. I said, "Wow, <laughs> it's so funny! I need it for tomorrow." So uh, let's watch it because yeah, uh, definitely, it, it's funny. We have uh, an amazing Inter fan. Okay, uh huh. Let's go. I like okay. that rallying cry. I like that rallying cry. Okay. I like that determination because that links in even better to our video here because that's also about building up and fighting and having that right spirit. If you agree with me, uh, Super Guy, we're going to look together at this latest uh, work of art, this latest masterpiece from the Intermedia House. And this is how we have uh, presented uh, this game. But before then, I know you've got another surprise I've been told. Apologies. I, I want to show the video yes, here. I but know that you want to see surprise. the video yeah. here, but uh, guys, because uh, obviously, <laughs> as always, uh, the media house made these uh, uh, no. uh, video heroes that are incredible. Now we show you, but it's also important uh, to know that uh, Davide was one of our guests at the stadium, mm -hmm. but every time there are a lot mm -hmm. of VIP <laughs> to watch our match, and uh, this is one of them, Giovanni. Let's watch this uh, Instagram story, this wow. reel of our yeah, Instagram page. Giovanni, Giovanni Giacomo, ecco, ti giuro che non ti faccio più sorprese, basta, I'm sono sorry. finite, I'm so però la faceva molto sorridere. No, it, it, was, it was my fault, guy, because again, I always get so excited, I okay. get carried ahead of I, myself. I, I, it's okay, you, you did this and I start to talk Italian. We did everything for today. We've <laughs> done all, almost everything. for today. We've <laughs> done all, almost everything. I love his movies and I was in this Italian atmosphere. I'm sorry. Uh, You're forgiven. We uh, forgive you. We forgive sorry you. Sorry to our international fans. <laughs> uh, he's a famous Italian actor, a comic actor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love this. Uh, it was so funny. He wanted the Lautaro jersey, but... Uh, he got sport. That's sport. Uh, the 1990s. The same, but. Uh... Inter cult <laughs> hero. I think now I'm also I was just so excited to show you this now video. Now is the moment. But now, now, after yeah. this, uh, I need a great introduction for this video here. Okay. So. Is it time? Back is to me. Guys, after the long and anticipated wait, now we're going to give you the latest uh, work of art from the Intermediate House. This is our video here, and this is how we have presented Inter Porto. Clash of Legends. I told you it was worth the wait. Oh. I told you it was worth the wait. That's why I was so excited and that's why I apologise. I was getting ahead of myself because I wanted to show that video because it's brilliant. It gets goosebumps on the skin. It gets you going, gets you motivated, gets you charged. And it makes you just want to say, I wish it was already tomorrow for Interpol. But we've got to wait yeah. a little bit longer. Match the app is almost yeah. done. But uh, stand up, Tom. Let's go. I always follow you guys. Come with me. We talk about players. Yes. We talk uh, about uh, uh, ex-players. Yep. Uh, we talk about uh, uh, VIP fans. Uh, we talk about coaches. We talk about our passion, about 
almost everything. Almost everything, but almost everything, but not about our important fans. Because we have a guest from Interclub Lisbona. You should be I, on the line right now. Are you should you with be us? here. Can you hear us first I, of all? I still have hey guys. to. Hey, uh, I can hear it. There oh, he is. It's the first guys. time I talk with you. How are you? What's your name? I'm Rocco. I'm honored to be here. Thank you, guys. Oh, Rocco, we're delighted to have you with us, and I'm loving the the classic shirt. It looks maybe yes. the Scudetto. Is it maybe the Scudetto winning season 89-90? Maybe the, the one from the 90s, 91. Wow, yeah, what a memory! I'm absolutely loving that shirt. First of all, so that's the first. That's really struck me. Uh, uh, Rocco, are you an Italian living in Portugal, or are you a, a Portuguese Inter fan? Let us know a little bit about your backstory. First of all, I'm just an Italian guy. I'm here for studying, having my master. So I'm just spending a, spend a year here, and uh, I'm I'm excited for the for the match, and also because uh, I'm going to be in port as well. So wow, I had the chance to get a ticket, so it's in, it's nearby. So I'm luck. Wow, that's brilliant. Which is the best memories that uh, you have about uh, Inter? Mm, I have a lot of memories about Inter. I'm a huge fan, but I think that every Inter fan must say the triplete. Because it was the the highest point of our of our history and was uh, an unbelievable uh, achievement. So I think the triplete was uh, was the best for every football man, football fan. I, I think yeah, you're right. From a lot of depending on on your uh, on the kind of generation of supporter, yeah, exactly. Indeed. Many will say that absolutely. There's some incredible memories uh, for that season. Uh, in terms of though, maybe a, a, a preferred, a favourite player uh, from the Inter history. Is it someone from that? Uh, 80s and 90s shirt you're wearing, or was it some more recent? Who are some of your uh, favorite players, uh, Rocco? Uh, I have a favorite one that is the played for Inter in the early 2000s, and it's uh, Alvaro Recova. Oh, ah. it's, it's Rocco, I have his, a, uh, yeah. For his skills and uh, for his left foot, that it was amazing. <laughs> Rocco, we know. It's amazing you mentioned Rocco because. Our super uh, man in the control room, Marco Secchi, has picked out already, just right away, heard you say Recoba, and he's put out some top Recoba moments just to make you happy, Rocco. Uh, we're showing you, you some. Much, yeah, I mean, do, do you have a favorite Recoba goal, yeah. a Recoba moment, or is it all of it? Yes, this is Marco Secchi, uh, a magician uh, uh, like this. I, I remember uh, a beautiful goal against Lecce, I think. Yeah, it okay. It, uh, Inter against Lecce in San Siro. Yeah. The sombrero, and then. Uh, uh, a panenka to eat the, the the goal. Oh yeah, that, that was one of his, his uh, one of his best goals, uh, without a doubt. And there's also this one here. I don't know if you remember yeah. this one uh, against Roma, an absolute thunderbolt from uh, from Recoba. Ninety nine percent of the of Recoba's goal was beautiful. Uh, we, we, are, we are agree. We, we completely <laughs> we agree. agree. I think that it's very difficult to find a, a bad goal uh, from Alvaro Cobra. So I'm, I, we're really happy that we've been able to, to give you this Nerazzurri nostalgia, uh, Rocco. Rocco, focusing a bit on, I, I on swear, uh, the, fans, that we didn't, prepare, we didn't prepare this. Uh, no. It's just, uh, oh, you know, no, nothing. no, I, nothing, nothing. This is the first time we talk with Rocco, and this is amazing. Um, how many people there are in uh, your Interclub? Uh, we are about uh, 35, I think. Something like this. Wow. 30, 35, yes. Oh, I want to say, um, I want to take the opportunity to yeah. thanks to Ariana. It, she the is Club my Lisbon, contact yeah. and she helped me to, to schedule it. So thank, oh, uh, thanks to Ariana and a massive, to, uh, and to Davide, to our guys. Uh, yeah. Our guy would take care about uh, the Interclub of all thanks over the world. <laughs> Absol no, absolutely. No, but a massive thank you to our Interclub Lisbon. Uh, uh, Rocco, I was going to say, you know, jumping back uh, to the present, having a little bit of a chat about tomorrow. So you said the return match, the second match, you're going to be there in Oporto. Of course, But yes. what about tomorrow? Just relaxed at home or with Interclub Lisbon? Where are you going to be watching it tomorrow? Oh, together. I think I'm going to watch the, the match with, uh, with Interclub. So the other guys from the Interclub, and I think it's going to be so fun. So... Let's hope in the in the I, result I and the so. performance, but I think that the the atmosphere will, will be will be good also here in Lisbon. Oh, absolutely! And, and you must take a, a selfie with Interclub Lisbon and send it yes. to, to me and Gaia. We, we want we, we want to see yes. a photo. Uh, oh, okay. Take a picture, tag us. Uh, I, we wanna. It's for you guys. Uh, we're watching this TV show, this YouTube show. Send uh, your pictures. Uh, you know. 
you guys uh, are really important for us, uh, and the show is for the show. You fans are super important. Absolutely, what it's about the fans. Exactly, they're the 12th man rocker. One last question from me uh, before we uh, say goodbye. I don't know how you say uh, goodbye in Portuguese. So, I don't know, bom dia? No, I don't know. I don't know say goodbye. Bom in exactly. I'll let you do the Portuguese. <laughs> this is much better than <laughs> no, mine. I don't know. I don't, I Guy I don't is know. not going to try either. But what I was going to say is uh, Rocco, a key player for you tomorrow because we picked out Lautaro. Is there someone else you want to single out who could be a key player uh, for Inter tomorrow? I think a key player will be, will be Bastoni. Okay. They had yeah. a, a huge performer, a huge dribbler on, on uh, their uh, right wing. And I think that Bastoni, the performance of Bastoni will be important for us. Oh, good. Good stuff. Good stuff. And on that yes. note, uh, Rocco... Obviously, obviously Lauti, Lauti will be important and also Jake or Lukaku, whoever it will be. But I think that uh, Bastoni, Bastoni will, will be, be important. Player. Yeah, yeah. We talk uh, yeah. a lot about it, uh, about uh, his job on the pitch. Well, Rocco, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thanks for enjoying us. Thanks to you, Ciao, Rocco. Grazie. Yeah, thank, you. Thank, thank you so much for your time. Soon. Forza Inter, Forza Inter, and we're waiting for your photo tomorrow. <laughs> Ciao, Rocco. Thank Ciao. you to Rocco. Bye, bye guys. Big what a shout man. out. What bye. a man, what a man. Thank you very much to Rocco. And, guy. unfortunately, oh, the time, time has come to it's say ciao, ciao, goodbye. Say bye. It's time to say bye. This is the worst part worst for part me. Of the show. I've never know how to say. It. Okay, <laughs> bye. No, I'm playing. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. playing. Oh, guys, thanks uh, to join us and uh, Forza Inter. Yeah, we see tomorrow we'll to see the tomorrow, stadium. Everybody. Absolutely. Continue to cheer for us. Continue to support us. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't do it and put the like. Absolutely. And on that note, I'll say thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you next time on Match Day. Match Day Hype Hi. from Gaia and Thomas. <laughs> That's it. Bye.